What was that? I don't even know. <laughs> channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shanna Renee and make sure you consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already I put out new beauty slash lifestyle videos every Monday Wednesday Friday and you guys are definitely not gonna want to miss what I have in store for 2019 so definitely go subscribe and click that notification bell but today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup tutorial I'm super excited because I have been wanting to do this for so long and I finally have all the products um, except for my mascara is not drugstore um, so every other product except for the mascara is drugstore and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a simple look like this from drugstore makeup and this is basically just an everyday makeup look um, that anybody can do it's super easy so yeah I will show you guys all the steps and you can follow along if you would like. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'm almost to 1k subscribers and I'm going to be putting out my skincare routine sometime this week. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. 7 subscribers away from 1k. I just can't believe it. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing and I'm so excited. Like. When I, when I hit 1K, I'm just gonna have like a celebratory drink, so it's gonna be awesome. And yes, like usual, all of the products will be linked down below in my description for you guys to go check out. Let's just get right into this video. I'm so excited, so let's get going. What was that? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so I pinned my hair back and now we are ready. To begin, first I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I'm going to be taking this Rimmel London Brow This Way eyebrow pencil. And this is in the shade Light Brown, I believe. I'm not sure about that, but usually I hate using eyebrow pencils, so we shall see how well this goes. But I am just going to start by brushing my eyebrow hairs up. I really need to get them done because they're just growing everywhere right now and when I get them done it shapes them back up into place. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm just gonna go in with this eyebrow pencil. Do a little I'm gonna do little light strokes so it matches my hair. So let's just see how this goes. Okay, so you guys can see kind of why what I'm talking about, but I'm just gonna leave it and we're gonna go on and do the other one. Oh, there's a piece of hair just like floating. Yeah, like I'm so much more used to pomades that it's just, I just can't work with these. So I'm just gonna leave those like that and I may go back in later with my pomade and darken it up a little bit and give it a little bit more shape. But for now, we are going to go on to eyeshadow. I picked up this Milani Bold Obsessions palette at Walmart and it's really beautiful like these are all the shades it's so pretty i'm gonna use this today for our eyeshadow look and you guys are gonna be mad at me i'm not going to be using all drugstore makeup brushes but i am going to be using the bnh cosmetics set which is very very affordable which i will link down below if you guys would like to go check that out but I do have a couple e.l.f. brushes that I will use today. Start by taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It has an applicator, but I just like to put it on my brush for this. I don't like to put an applicator on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna take that as a base. You already know. And I'm just gonna do a simple eyeshadow look today just because 
This is a drugstore makeup tutorial and it's gonna be an easy, simple makeup tutorial today. So I'm not gonna lie, today I was gonna start out with my foundation and I have no idea why. I never start out with my foundation and I started doing like the tutorial, like I started the tutorial and I was like, you know what, I'm not doing this. So I wiped it off and I started with my eyebrows because that's just how I do my makeup. I usually do brows, eyeshadow, and then foundation, everything else after that. I think I'm just gonna take this color right here as a transition color. It's really pretty. It's a really like nice light brown transition color. So I'm gonna take that on my e.l.f. blending brush and tap off the excess because there is a lot of excess. This palette will probably have fallout, which is why I did not want to do it after my foundation. I wanted to do it before just because of the fallout. So I'm kind of just packing that into the crease in the outer corner. You most likely won't be able to see it just because um, it's like almost the shade of my skin, almost. And the reason we do transition shades, transition shades is because we want our shadows, our darker shadows to blend in well with the shade. So if you just put a darker shadow on without doing a transition shade, it would not blend out well. So that's kind of why we do transitions. Okay, now I think I'm gonna take this brown and just kind of build up the pigment. I switched brushes, by the way. This is the BNH Cosmetics number nine in the set. I think I wanna do kind of a little bit of a halo eye today. I'm gonna be looking a little crazy for a while. Don't worry, it's gonna be blended out. Now with that same brush, I'm taking this dark brown right here. Okay, now I'm going to take that and blend it all out. Okay, so now I'm going to take the black shade in the palette, which is right here. Just a little bit on my brush make that outer corner really pop. So once that's on there, I'm just gonna take the same blending brush and blend it out. Okay, so now I'm just taking the same black and going into the inner corner. Now I'm just gonna take the same concealer on this small little concealer brush. Before that sets all the way, I'm just gonna take that gold shade right there And then I'm going to take the blending brush I was using and blend together. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. It's just a easy halo eye. So I'm just going to finish this eye and then I will be back to do my foundation. All right, let's go. So once we have our eyeshadow down, it is time to move on to foundation and for foundation today, I know I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me, but for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is what it looks like. I'm in the shade L20 and it's matte, so it's a matte foundation and I don't know, I've tried this a couple times and it's got like a little bit of a strong scent to it and I don't know if it's actually my exact color, especially now since it's not summertime anymore. And I picked this out when it was still like, I don't know, nice out so I could go outside and get some suntan. So we're gonna try to do this today. Wish me luck. I'm just gonna be taking this Damp Beauty sponge that I have. I dampened it and I'm just gonna do one pump of this 
and I'm gonna start to do this foundation. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a strong scent to it. Like, you can definitely tell. Not my favorite foundation, but fits the theme of today's video and it's something different than I usually do. It's blending pretty well, actually. Like, it goes into the skin pretty easily. I do like that. So once I have that pretty much all over my face, I'm gonna take this Maybelline Illuminating Correcting Concealer and I'm almost out of it, I think. No, actually. <laughs> I didn't think it rolled up, but it actually does like a lot, so I'm not almost out of it. <laughs> Good to know, okay, cool. Um, so I'm taking that and just going underneath my eyes. I just love cream concealers and this is a really good cream concealer if you are looking for a drugstore cream concealer. So before anything else, I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, once that's all nice and blended, I'm gonna be very quick about this. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder. I'm just setting my under eye very, very, very fast because I don't want this to dry and crease. I'm also gonna set my smile lines quite a bit just because I don't want them to crease either. Okay, with the rest of the powder, I'm just gonna set my entire face. Which it doesn't really need set anyway because this is matte. But if you want that extra reinforcement, then I would definitely set it. All right, next up, we are going to do contour. And what I have for contour is this Rimmel London Radiance Brick. This is actually what I use on a daily basis. Then I'm just gonna mix all the shades together and start blending upwards. If you don't blend upwards when you're trying to do contour, especially powder contour, you are definitely going to get a muddy look. So if you are ever trying to do contour, blend upwards because it's so much better. Oh yeah, and I'm just taking this angled, it's like a contour brush, I guess you would call it, from the BH Cosmetics set that I showed you guys. So for nose contour, I'm actually gonna take a drugstore brush, guys. It's the e.l.f. contour brush, and it looks like this. And, jeez. I'm just gonna take the darkest shade and do a little bit of contour, not too crazy. And then I'm just going to blend that with my big fluffy brush. Makeup is just blending and blending and blending. Blending your whole life away. Okay, so on the blush, we're gonna be taking this Milani Baked Blush, the beautiful, beautiful in all of its glory. It's so beautiful, I love it so much. We're gonna be taking that in the shade Berry Amore. I'm actually gonna cheat again, guys. I'm gonna use this Firma Beauty 102 brush for this blush. You can definitely start to see my face warm up with this. Ooh, this is looking a little ghostly there. And I like to take it on my nose, kind of just like that. So now for highlight, we're gonna take the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter in Sun Glow. This highlighter is beautiful as well. It's very, very radiant. This highlighter is definitely not gonna let you down and you can find it at your local Walmart, which is the best. So I'm just taking, I don't have a fan brush, I'm just taking this little highlighting brush. So these brows, I think, I'm gonna darken them up just a tiny bit more just because they look very sparse. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. Not a fan, but we're just gonna brush them up. Okay guys, now we are going to go do the under eye. I'm just gonna take this little under eye brush. The lighter brown shade that I did earlier just
Okay guys, and for mascara, don't get mad at me, but this is not drugstore. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't have a drugstore mascara right now. I should have gotten one for this video, but I definitely didn't, so I'm sorry about that. But we're just gonna pop this on and then I will finish the look. For lips today, I'm gonna be using the Ulta Beauty Shimmer Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Nude Shimmer. Usually, I don't wear lipstick um, like for an everyday makeup look. I just like to do either a lip gloss or a lip balm. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you could follow along. All of these products will be listed down below in the description for you guys to go check out. They're all products I have used for either years or a ton of months, so I've been loving them. Except for this, I hadn't tried the brow this way and I just don't like brow pencils, but this is how I got it to turn out. If you do like brow pencils, this is one that I have heard of. And then this foundation, I just didn't like the scent to it, but it's good coverage. Um, if you like matte foundations, this would be a good one. And then yeah, every other product you guys already pretty much know because I use them on a daily basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some education out of it. I don't know. I, I've been wanting to do a drugstore makeup tutorial for a long time and I finally got to do it. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more drugstore tutorials like this in the future, let me know in the comments because I will definitely do that. Anything you guys want to see, I will definitely do. So leave those suggestions down in the comments below. And yeah, this is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.